You know, we talk a lot about the equipment that we use, everything from the rods and reels to our baits to any kind of gear that we have. But one thing we don't mention a lot is boat control. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today we have FLW Pro Billy McDonald as well as Kurt Hill from Powerful, and we are going to talk about boat control, structure, and how you can put more fish in the boat. Oh yeah! I'm trying to make <laughs> up baits and you keep catching fish. Now what's wrong with this picture? Woo! You know what we've got? That's oh, tank. that's a little toady. Woo. That's a chunk. Woo. That's a chunk. That's a chunk. So Billy, what are we fishing here? What well, well, we got right here, like I said, it's the Niagara River's coming out, stumping right into Lake Ontario. Well, you know, we got the Coast Guard base here. And like I said, you got you can see the current rolling, and then we just got a little back eddy right here, and just big chunk rock right there on the edge of it. And, big chunk fish laying there on them too. And what are they doing? Like they're ambushing bait as it comes yeah, down the river? they're just that... sitting here ambushing. I mean, they ain't got to do nothing. They just sit there and eat. Let's oh take yeah. Time, Kurt. Let's take the time <laughs> with him. Woo. Yeah. I love it when they come up I'm gonna like grab that. a net on this one. <laughs> love it when they come up like that. Right there, buddy. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Kurt, you ever held a seven pound smallmouth? I have not. You're about to. There you oh. go, Kurt. That is a nice. chunk. Welcome to the seven pound club, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that is sweet. Let's get a photo of him, huh? What a lot of people do when they're fishing structure like this too is what they'll do is they'll go right up to the structure, they'll go right on top of the structure and start casting. That's the worst thing you could do because what you're doing is when you want to come up, when you want to fish a structure, you want to go around it, cast to the structure and then bring the fish off. So you're not upsetting the whole area where your fish are staging. Stay off the structure, cast to the structure, bring the fish back to the boat. Thanks, buddy. Mm, gotcha. I guess not yet. There we go. Now you can see right over here, we're using the power poles as kind of like drift socks. If you've ever fished with drift socks before, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the difference is you put one of these down and they're like a pear shape almost. They come out here or triangle shape and they get wider as they go into the water. The farther you put them in, the more resistance they're gonna have for your drift. So we can kind of play with the, the level that we're putting them down. You can't do that with a drift sock. And the other thing that's different about it is drift socks tend to get tangled up. They're hard to pull in and pull out. With a flick of a button, these things go up and down with ease. These things are so strong. <laughs> and you know, we're sitting here and we're in 50 degree water. That's a sweet one. With the positioning, we can just sit right here. We got everything set up and just control this drift and keep catching them. It's a solid chunkers. Let's go get us another one. Right on. Larry. This funny, is, funny, this, I miss them, you get them. <laughs> this is stupid. Can you get tired of this, Bill? I haven't yet. <laughs> Especially, I'm gonna say I just maybe joined a seven pound club right here. You got them. Uh -oh. Double. It don't get much better than that. No, when you catch them doubles at a time, that's even better. When you got the right water temperature, and the right, right, bait. right area, the right bait, it and all works good. And the good, drift's don't right, it? it's all good. <laughs> that's a lot of fish there. Jeez, oh Pete, another big giant black one out there jumping. Oh, and you oh, got nice. one too. Two, two black ones, two jack giants. <laughs> Quick release. Sure you had one, Kurt. <laughs> you know, what we've done, we've come into the river here now, and like I said, we're trying to position a boat and fish this contour line down through here. And one thing that's going to help at it is I've repositioned the drift paddles and turned them so it'll help to push the boat along as we go down through here with this wind. So keep us in the strike zone a little bit better. That's the result. And you get up here and you get everything positioned the right way. Look at this. Come into the river now. Look how much paler that fish is. I mean, it's just got up in here, and just coming in. And what a chunk of a fish. Don't get any better than that, Larry. So as Billy was saying earlier, we're using these power pull drift paddles for different reasons in different areas. So the one key feature that we've been utilizing that I wanna show you is the seven different locking positions. And what that does is it actually changes the position of the boat. So you just pull the spring pin up and you can rotate it around and it'll just lock back in place for you. 
So it's equivalent to tying a drift sock to your boat, but you've got control and it's affixed to your boat, so it'll reduce the amount of motion in the bow of the boat. Now power poles are an anchor. You can still use them as an anchor with drift paddles attached. So if you run into those fish and want to stop your boat, you've got all the capabilities you want. Now other accessories that power pole offers, we do have a downrigger accessory. So if you want to lower that bait between one and eight extra feet, you can present it and follow the bottom depth with your bait if they're sitting at four feet or so. So a lot of your bass guys really like having all their stuff being able to be controlled from the bow of the boat. We make foot switches for them, especially they screw them right down to the deck of the boat. It's got the same controls as our other switches like our wireless remote and console switch that comes standard with the power pole anchors. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Just Beauty don't get belly. any better than this. Another chunker. Open wide. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. We say, Bill, this is fish number 30 or 40. It's been a good day. And it's all because of proper boat control, buddy. And we're at noon. <laughs> Folks, I want to thank this guy. We're going to head in because there's weather coming on the way. I want to thank Bill McDonald for joining us, as well as Kurt Hill from Power Pole. And if you want to check out these accessories that Power Pole has, go to power-pole.com. I'm Larry Ladowski. I'm going to put this fish back, and I'll catch you later.